Hello everybody and welcome back to our Medi Medieval Dynasty settlement. Uh, it's summertime so we have a bunch of harvesting to do and so I'll probably help out our farmers with that as we get going here. Um, we have an iron scythe now because we have all these iron tools. I did use some at the end of the last episode uh, to put shutters on our house. I would like to have enough iron to do shutters on all the houses, but that would be in my opinion a bit of a waste of resources. I do wish that there was a way to get things delivered he to your settlement. Like, you can sell via these magic shops to get things out of your settlement, but you can't get things into your settlement. And as far as I know, the closest place for us to buy iron is... Lesnica, where we just were, or I believe Hornica, and, um, you know, that's fine, I guess, but I do want to get this flax done. We could probably sell all this flax, because I think we have over a thousand flax seed, so we'll take the stock over to the seamstress to work on. And maybe I'll go ahead and take the seed over to Borowa to sell Borowo. Boro, bro, 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 bro. I don't know how to say any of these town names. They're all in Polish, and I don't speak Polish. So I did want to say before we get too long into the video, um, This week in real time, I don't know when it'll be compared to when it comes out for you guys, but we had an announcement made uh, about Manor Lords, and that will be coming out in April of next year. So if you are interested in that game, uh, definitely subscribe to this channel because I will be making content with that game for sure for sure um, ba, ba, ba. Da, 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 da. nope ba, da, 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 da. obstacles it would fit over here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just, you know, kind of thinking out loud. I bet I could put a stable there. But I also bet that we could put a stable outside of our walls if we wanted to. Something to consider. For now, the donkey's fine. You know, you get to a certain point in the game that you're just like, it's just the same thing over and over. So, I do feel like having a task to build something like a horse stable would be fun. And since we have all this money, we could buy, you know, male and female horse. Gonna go to Borowo, not to Gustovia. Is there a cart here? There is not. Okay. Anything on the beach? Doesn't look like it. One of the biggest requests that I have to. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't finish my thought about Manor Lords. Um, 
if you if you are interested in that game, if you've heard about it, for those of you that haven't heard about it, it's basically going to be a game that takes. Uh, it's set in a similar time period, medieval era, but you. Oh, I forgot to take the flax stock up to sell. It's a. What, what can I do for you? Let me show you my wares. Okay, that's all his money. Farewell. In Manor Lords, though, your job is to. It's a little bit more macro. You, you you do play as an individual if you want, but it's mostly overseeing. How can I help you? It's city building. Only the best products here. Medieval city building combined Goodbye. with a little bit of combat, uh, a little bit of sort of strategy style gaming, more so than than the physical first person stuff of this game um, so you have you know you build your city and you have to maintain taxes and you have to build walls for protection and you have to think about your expansion and manage the workforce and uh, as you level up your town you're able to level up your militia and then you can potentially attack your neighbors and take their land over or you can do things a little more uh, diplomatically if you want but oh these grew already no way oh that was actually fast I thought that was going to take a couple years maybe it was a couple years Well, let's eat one of our fresh apples. Let's eat two of our fresh apples. That's pretty cool. Still can't make apple juice, though. Nope. We can fashion tools out of ore with our bare hands. But we can't make apple juice. Just one of the delightful idiosyncrasies of this game. course she's at the wheel is there room in here there is somewhat shockingly all right and then we'll go ahead and collect the manure how are you doing on feed 56 that's not bad not bad at all. What else did I do at the end of last episode that I could... No, leave the apples in here. We'll put this in here. Put that in there. Put the manure in here. Put the rot in here. Uh, I think I added some sitting stuff. I added a table here and these two stools so that people can get together to eat in the evenings. Um, did I add anything back here? I feel like I might have put in an extra stool back here. Or maybe not. Gotta love having an iron hammer. And then we can fix that. I know some folks were uh, commenting on my volume in a recent video. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't or can't turn it up too much higher is that then it will distort too much. If you slightly can't hear some parts of what I say, I apologize, I'll try to enunciate better. 
but if I turn it up too much then it will be unbearable at the normal volume so basically what I'm trying to say is it's a little bit of a compromise so three pigs making plenty of manure and uh, I actually took the worker off of that because we have so much manure in storage so we'll put all this fruit in here so it can rot since we can't make anything with it all right and let's see how much rot is actually in here 643 that's from all of the stuff that we're just not quite using and I have tried to balance out the stores uh, the what do you call them shops so that we're not wasting so much so that we're selling some of that excess but it kind of is what it is you know all right we have 240 fertilizer the weight is finally dropped down a little bit on this which is great um, so we have a lot of wheat a lot of rye a lot of flaxseed um, so we're in summer we plant cabbage is the only thing we plant in summer so I'll keep an eye on this the other two days there looks like they're working on turning over the flax fields rather than harvesting the other crops which I don't fully understand but you know they do what they do looks like we need some planks up there on that roof so I'll do that real quick eight that's probably pretty close I think it's gonna be three for each one go ahead in the house here and it is one two three and one two three lovely I don't know if I want to go ahead and build another house here let's let's do let's spend some you know what I know what I'm gonna do step into my office boys I'm facing the wrong way okay well anyways we're still going to the office now oh temperature interesting has that always been there anyways uh, what I wanted to look at a few things first of all let's make sure that oh Batilda is with child okay Henrik is 12 that's one of the main things that I'm interested in Henrik is 12 so he will be able to be eligible uh, to take over when he is 18 which is six more years which translates to 24 more seasons so 24 more seasons, a.k.a. 24 more episodes, as we're concerned, until he can take over. And I believe that Rosalinda is female and is right close to his age. So they will probably need a house right when they're both 18. I'll probably marry them off. And then we will have Meistwin, and I believe Ingvar is also female. And then Casimir will need his own place, but it doesn't look like we have a woman to pair him with. Uh, but it's possible I don't know I think the way the game works is that when someone reaches age 50 or something like that it essentially has like a death roll um, 
So Roland won't be around forever. And when he moves on, maybe we give his house to somebody. But in terms of these things, we don't have anybody working the resource stall. But we have somebody selling. This one's at 60%. Looks like they're going to need some mushroom soup. We can mix that up for them. And they're going to need cheese soon. They're going to need stew. The other one is making, is selling at 70%. Yeah, they we definitely need to, let's do some cheese and then some mushroom soup. Is there anything we have a lot of that we're not selling? Well, we have a lot of cabbage, but we'll use that to make, I believe it's pottage, which is largely what our people eat, I think. Okay, so dried fish is recovering nicely, which is good. That's a nice thing to have a baseline for that. Okay, so we know we want to do those two things. In terms of technology, I'll update you guys on this too. We need another 1500 building technology to be able to get a mine which I don't know what else to build other than a stable we wanted to get horses uh, two more houses you know that there's not really I guess we could build some unnecessary fencing uh, I don't have like a substantive building project I do want to build the windmill when we unlock it. I imagine that'll be a little bit of value, but this is just, it seems silly. For this category, we're about to unlock the Herbalist Hut too. I don't really care. I probably won't adjust that at all. We don't make any of these potions, so I don't know why it really matters. Um, I, I personally don't, enjoy the aspects of the game that I mean I know I use like the alt look vision to see stuff highlighted but I don't like to use things that don't feel realistic that's just my personal style so like taking a potion to make your health come back instantly I don't know but also in real life you can't spam eat three apples and feel better either so I don't really know what to say other than I haven't gotten into these I don't know that I ever will um, the fishing hut too I really don't care about so I'm not watching that at all this one all we have left is the windmill and 700 points we farm all the time so we'll probably get that I'll probably build it I don't know how much we'll use it I don't know if it would be worth planting a couple extra fields of wheat just to get even more flour but as I've complained in the past the things that you want to make with the flower the most are level capped so you can't make them like I could make some wheat bread that'd be nice maybe we do that um, to make money we don't need you know it's it's all it's all like this weird suspension of the things that you want to do I don't know I don't get it um so yeah, we have this Smithy 3, we're behind on, you know, we could upgrade the sewing hut, but that's going to be a while, I would imagine that'll be a couple years, and then we're barely half to the tavern, which is what I want, this is all the stuff that I want to make, I want to make tarts, uh, I want to make pies, and I want to make juice, and beer, I've wanted to make all of this, this stuff is like, this is what medieval life is in my mind uh, so I've wanted to make that for a long time and it's level capped I mean we're hundreds of hours into the save at this point oh and by the way that's uh, 500 manure that I meant to put, put on the ground here but it, it landed there and it weighs a ton so I just left it there but this is why I did that because we have so much stuff in storage that we needed some space but at this point it's actually the logs that are weighing us down I mean we don't we don't need to be 
still bringing in that many logs. So I'm going to actually put this intensity on logs even lower. We're going to go down to um, 5%. We're going to bring firewood up to 50 and planks at 25. Okay. Um, anyways, I was in here for something. Wooden bowls. We're going to make we're going to make 50 batches of mushroom soup. For the for the shop to sell. I see they're still not picking the cabbage. So I'm gonna go fifty bolit and fifty meat. There's only they're down to four. parasol mushrooms and did I go past it red pine and 50 red pine so then we come over here and somebody's in the way always hey, always friend. in the way could you move a little and then no not that how are you <laughs> cauldron so we go to the soup Go to the mushroom soup. We make 50 batches of this, and we get like 0.5 experience for it. <laughs> 50 batches of mushroom soup, and we get next to no experience. Uh, we'll put this in here. And now we want to get the regular milk. to combine with the quark. And I don't know how much this is going to make. Hopefully a lot. 19. That doesn't seem right. Oh yeah, we need more milk. So we'll put the cheese in here, and I don't think we have anybody on the cows right now, so I'll go get a couple more buckets of milk over here. Oh, we do. We do have some. Oh, wow, they had even more calves, and that's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. I don't know... At some point, we may have to call the herd, as they say. But as long as we have the space for them and the feed, I'm okay with it. All right, so that's two. There's a third here. We'll get her, too. And then we should be able to milk the goats, too. But we'll make whatever whatever we can how is life treating you it's great Bernard but you're in the way often all right here's another 30 so that'd be our three buckets of milk we just got so one bucket of milk is like 10 units of milk and a lot of it has soured which is how you make the cork. So it's not lost once it sours. Um, we can go see if we have any goats that we can milk. I don't know if it would make sense to get rid of some of the male goats. <laughs> Oh, there's two more little kids. 
Oh, you know what? I think I did get rid of a couple of the older males. I think I did do that recently. I don't really know much about managing a herd. Not something that I ever learned about. I mean, there's a lot of males here. Probably more than you need. But since there's not a genetics concern in this... Get your dude. Um, I got you right on the... Oh, that's your dude. Never mind. So, I don't know. I, and I also don't know if it would make sense to build another fold. Like, how much is enough? How much is too much? I'm sorry, Bernard. You are definitely in the way. Since both shops are selling cheese, I feel like it's it's okay to make a good bit of, of the cheese. And I, I don't... I, we have somebody making quark. I believe that's part of what they make. So, I don't... I think I'll do that right now. Do I pick the cabbage myself, or do I be patient and let them get to it when they get to it? So we have cabbage, onions, and cowets that need to be picked. And the chickens seem to be doing all right. Wow, that's all full in there. So this stuff you can manually get in between moments that the or not in between it's like in addition to the things that the game will get with your worker so this is all bonus this is all extra I can do this with the milk that we just got I can do this with the eggs and feathers we're getting I can do this with manure from the pigs I can do this with uh, the sheep's wool if we want to make more wool stuff so it, it really is a, a cool setup I'm gonna put these eggs in here because we make scrambled eggs and the eggs are helpful with uh, baked goods so they're nice to have I'm gonna put those feathers in there because I just am all right, well, I think that's about good. Some things I want you guys to comment on. Uh, oh, by the way, I put in those two hops down there. I think I did that for you guys in the recording. Um, but two things I want you to be thinking about. One, if we get a horse stable, where should we put it? Because there's not a lot of flat ground left. Uh, I'm thinking maybe back behind there where I started the new orchard behind the wall. Uh, so let me know what you think about a, a horse st stable over there. Grab a couple horses so they can start to um, uh, breed and, and make us some more horses. And then my other thought is, or maybe we put them down along the water down there. We could put the horse stable down there and fence them in. So let me know what you think of that plan, which place you'd like me to put them if I do get that and any other observations you have about how the settlement is going or how i'm playing love to hear it thanks so much for your support continuing to watch the episodes and i will see you in the next one bye for now